that one bad decision you make could really affect your life and your family's life and our lives for a lifetime. It's that time of year when kids are playing outside, but along with the wonder for the outdoors come some safety concerns for your little ones. Fergus Falls police say they have seen a rise in the number of kids playing on train tracks. Valley News Team's Veronica Marshall explains the dangers. I've been here for going on 16 years now. During that time, there have been no deadly train versus pedestrian accidents on Troy Dodd's watch in Fergus Falls. But the summer months are threatening his perfect record. Seems to be a rash of incidents over the last 10 days. I think we have had four trespasser incidents, you know, and that's way too many. The law of averages say that something's going to happen. We definitely see a spike during the summer months. The foot traffic increases because people are able to be out and about. Ottertail Valley Railroad staff say kids are playing under the trains while they're stopped and trying to run through them while they're moving. There's some risk takers out there, you know, just, geez, this looks like fun to do. Let's see if we can get through it. The kids don't understand what they're, what they're dealing with here. They th I think they think, well, this train is stopped. It isn't going to move until it starts to move. If they're in any place in between that equipment, I mean, it's, it's so easy to fall in between. Railroad staff say trains are getting bigger and heavier every year with the average grain train weighing around 16,000 tons. That means it takes about a mile to stop a train in motion, meaning there's nothing a conductor can do if they see someone on the tracks. Nationally, nearly 600 people died after trespassing on railroad tracks last year. Now, community leaders are warning local kids about the danger before it's too late. To get into the schools is more difficult than it used to be. Inviting us in to do presentations has decreased. To combat that, we've tried to increase our presence at bigger events and such. When I leave, I don't want that remembrance. I don't want that memory of somebody getting hurt or injured or killed. You know, I just don't want that. In Fergus Falls, Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. From 2010 to now, 41 Minnesotans have died while trespassing on railroad tracks. In North Dakota, that number drops to 14.